What's going on you guys, this is TechHD coming at you with a brand new video and today we're going to be taking a look at Comica's new CVM VM20 on camera shotgun microphone. This is supposed to be beneficial for vloggers or for regular uh, YouTubers or content creators in general to get better audio straight out of the camera instead of using it like a shotgun microphone as an example or uh, recording video and recording on an external recorder and then syncing up in post. This simplifies it, makes it a lot more easier. You just hook this up to your camera or to your phone, this actually works for a phone as well and it's supposed to be a cardioid microphone so it picks up what's in front of it blocks out the sides and the back so we're going to be trying this out testing it out unboxing see what it comes with do a couple audio tests and then determine whether this is good or not Now take a look at what you get in the box we got a carrying case to easily travel with it and not have it get damaged during transport inside the carrying case we got a user manual the Comica VM20 microphone itself a shock mount that has a hot shoe to mount it on a camera, a windscreen, a furry windscreen or dead cat to reduce the windy noise to not have it mess up the audio, a USB to USB type C cable to charge the microphone, and finally two 3.5mm cables, one that's TRS for a camera and the other being a TRS for a smartphone. Taking a look at the microphone, it's a super cardioid microphone which means it picks up what's in front of it and blocks out the audio from the sides and the back. It's an all metal build which feels really nice in quality. On the back of the microphone there is a stepless gain control that goes from 0 to 10 so you can easily control the audio from the microphone instead of the camera. On the side there is a USB type C connection for charging the microphone and an output port to connect a 3.5mm cable. On the top you have the power button and a high pass filter button to be able to switch from 75 and 150 hertz or to just disable it. And each button has an indicator light to let you know if the device is on or if the high pass filter has been enabled. There is also a small OLED screen to show you the battery life. Now to install the shock mount is very simple. It says which way is the front and you just push the microphone down and it just snaps in place and it doesn't feel like it's going to break at all which is very nice. I lastly wanted to show you guys how the microphone looks like with the windscreen on it and the furry windscreen just goes over the regular windscreen and you could easily tighten it with the strap to make sure that it's nice and secure. Alright you guys, so now we're going to be doing a couple of audio tests. So what you guys are hearing right now is coming directly from the Comica VM20 microphone on top of my camera. And the way that I have this set up, we're going to be doing two sets. So the first one, which you guys are hearing right now, is I have the gain on the microphone set to the maximum at 10. And then I have on my camera, my Lumix S1H. I have it controlled to the lowest microphone settings to about negative 15 decibel level and that is picking up my audio to about negative 12, negative 18 decibel level which is pretty um, you know where you want the audio to be to make sure that you're not peaking or anything like that. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below of the audio. This is a shotgun microphone that picks up what's in front of it, blocks out the sides and the back. Make sure that it's focused directly on the subject and I'm using a wide angle lens. I'm using a 20 millimeter uh, and you can see the microphone is about an arm's reach so I'm really close to the camera so that I could pick up the best audio quality that I can if I were to step back more let's say for around here I have to talk a little bit louder and the microphone is definitely picking up much more of the echo and the room and all that so it's much more preferred to get much closer to the camera like for example here where it's a lot better and you can see that the audio sounds much more cleaner, much louder, much more presentable basically. So now let's go ahead and try the other setup and see how that one sounds like. Alright you guys and now what you're hearing is coming directly from the Comica VM20 but this time I had the gain on the microphone set to about 1 so the lowest possible I can't set it to 0 otherwise it's going to mute itself. So I have it set to 1 and on my camera I still have the gain level set to low but I have it set to about plus 1 dB and that makes it around the same way I had it before negative 18 to negative 12 decibel level to make the audio still sound pretty clear and I wanted to know what sounds better the audio coming more from the microphone or being more controlled from the camera. That's why I wanted to do these audio tests to see which one you guys prefer. So let me know down in the comments below. I do recommend uh, using headphones to monitor and to make sure which one you guys think sounds the cleanest, which one you think sounds the best. But overall, what do you guys think of this microphone? This is the indoor environment. We're going to be going outside. We're going to be trying it out and see how that is. And we're going to be using the furry windscreen or the dead cat to see how it is in a windy situation and see how that performs and we're going to be also trying it out uh, the built-in microphone from the camera and see how that performs against the Comica VM20. So like I said let me know what you guys think down in the comments below of the indoor audio and now let's go ahead and go outside. 
All right, you guys, so now we are doing a sound test outside. We are testing out the microphone, and we have the furry windscreen or the dead cat basically on it, and it is the perfect time because it's actually pretty windy, so this is the perfect time to test out that furry windscreen to see how much it cancels out that wind and if my audio is still doable and it still actually works. I'm using, oh man, it's starting to pick up really strong. I'm using a wide angle lens, so I don't have to have the camera so far away from me so that the audio still sounds clean, and the microphone uh, volume set on the Lumix S5 is set to about negative 12 and then the gain on the actual microphone is set to about uh, 2 so that seemed to be doable it doesn't seem like that the audio is peaking or anything like that but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below or what you guys think of this overall audio and if it's actually doable or not and then now let, let me show you guys how the audio sounds like from the built-in microphones of the Lumix S5 all right, you guys, so now you are listening to the audio coming directly from the Lumix S5 microphone, the built-in microphone. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Like I said, this is the outdoor test. It's very windy right now, so that microphone is definitely picking up some of that wind. There is a wind cup filter built into the camera, but I'm not going to enable that because I feel like that's a little bit cheating, and I feel like that also messes up the audio. But hearing back of how the uh, microphone sounded like with the furry windscreen, it sounded really good, and it really did not pick up any of that wind which was very nice and that mic that audio was definitely doable. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, uh, which one you guys prefer, which one you think is better and what you guys overall think of the audio. And now let's go back inside. All right, you guys, and the last few things I want to try out is using the high pass filter. So for those of you guys that don't know what a high pass filter is, it's basically letting in more of the higher frequencies and cutting out more of the lower end. So this one has a 75 and a 150 hertz uh, high pass filter. So what you guys are hearing right now is nothing is enabled. This is the raw audio of without any of the high pass filters. So now if I were to go up top and press one of those buttons, now I should be at the 75 hertz high pass filter. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below of this audio. If you guys hear more of a difference of it cutting out more of the lower end of my voice and letting in a lot more of the higher end of my voice, uh, let me know what you guys think. This is more beneficial when it comes to lower, deeper voices and also like music and stuff like that where there's a lot more bass. And now, and now what you guys are hearing is the 150 hertz high pass filter. So even greater, let me know what you guys think of this audio down in the comments below. Which one do you guys personally prefer whenever it comes to vocals? Let, keep in mind though that everyone's voice is different. So definitely mess around with it when you get the VM20 and determine which ones you guys prefer and which one sounds the best for your voice. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below on which one you guys prefer for my voice, the raw setup, the 75 hertz or the 150 hertz uh, high pass filter. All right, you guys, and the last audio test I want to show you is basically using the Comica VM20 on a smartphone device. So the Comica VM20 comes with two cables, one for the camera and the second one for a smartphone. And so right now we are testing it out on the LG V40, and I have an actual 3.5mm uh, plug. I could use my iPhone, for example, but you do need an adapter to convert to Lightning. And any of the other future Android phones, you do need an adapter to convert it to USB Type-C. So keep that in mind. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below of the audio test on how this is set. Right now, I have the gain on the microphone set to about uh, 4 and the um, LG V40. I didn't mess with any of that audio on the phone. But let me know what you guys think if this actually sounds pretty good and if it's actually doable for those of you guys that want to start vlogging or using a smartphone starting out with a phone instead of with an actual camera and get better audio quality. And let me know what you guys think of how this is compared to an actual camera. Uh, the actual camera and the microphone set on the camera, which one you guys think sounds better uh, because there's so much involved whenever it comes to audio quality on the camera and then the microphone with the camera and then the microphone on the phone. Sometimes for some reason, the microphone on the phone sounds like way worse than on an actual dedicated camera. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. All right, you guys, so my overall thoughts on the Comica VM20 shotgun microphone is I really like this microphone, honestly. The build quality in general is really nice. I really like the metal construction on the actual shotgun microphone. The shock mount itself is nice and durable, partial metal, and also rubber. It doesn't feel like it's going to break anytime soon or anything like that. The windscreen and the furry windscreen was really nice quality. Overall construction of the microphone was really nice. I personally like the audio quality from the VM20, especially on the camera. On the phone, it was doable, but it did not sound that good. And I personally never liked the audio quality whenever you attach an external microphone onto a phone. For some reason, the microphones from a phone or the way that you connect to a phone, it just sounds really bad, honestly. But this one was actually pretty doable. If you do a little bit of tweaking, a little bit of audio correcting, some equalizers, some compressors, I think it'll be pretty doable in a video. 
but the overall audio quality on the camera actually sounded pretty good and I actually preferred the first option that we did over the second one. The second one kind of got rid of more of the lower end frequency without using any of the high pass filters or anything like that. The first one sounded the most natural in my opinion and the high pass filter was actually really doable and you really heard that difference. I personally preferred uh, having there be no high pass filter. The 75 hertz and the 150 hertz did a lot when it came to my voice but it's all personal preference as far as that goes. And I really like the battery life on this, like this really lasted for hours and I love the fact that it's future proof, it's USB type C which is really nice. Now the only con that I have on the VM20 is the stepless gain control. Honestly, I feel like it's a little bit too sensitive to the point that I accidentally like would knock it or hit it on something and it will just move it. I really don't like it. I like it there to be like a clickable, uh, clickable dial or something like that. I like it to just click from 4 to 5 to 6 and just let it be like that and have there be a little bit more tension so that you don't accidentally knock it over from 3 to 4 or anything like that and mess up the audio. The stepless gain control like feels nice and all the quality of it is really nice and smooth. I just feel like it's a little bit too sensitive to the point where I could accidentally like reach back here or something like that or accidentally like hit the back of it and it just moves and messes up the audio and then I can't really do much when it comes to that or I could try to fix it in post but that makes a lot more work. But I would definitely prefer a clickable audio control so that there's less issues and that I know exactly where I have the gain set to. But there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments below on what you guys think of the audio test. Would you prefer the first option, the second option, the high pass filters, the no high pass filters, nothing like that. What do you guys think of the audio from outdoors and the built-in microphone from the camera itself? And what do you guys think about the audio from the smartphone? Let me know everything down in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you guys can be notified whenever I upload a new video. Follow me on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitch. As always, Tech HD. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.